I'm Bill Vecinas with Infinidat. I want to now bring you into what we're calling next generation data protection and recovery. It's a cyber focus and recovery for a strategy. And I'm going to go into why this is important. And this ties back to not just their everyday data, but also to the things that they're doing within their AI environments, within their LLMs. And especially when we talk about cyber detection and our capabilities around cyber detection. But ultimately, when we think about cyber today and how it has to support our corporate infrastructure and our, our critical data assets, and again, we're at that heart of the uh, heart of the data center with the most critical data assets that they're running in their business. So we have to think about this. So now we're really trying to take that model and really apply it to something that we've been doing now for almost three years. Right? I don't have to go through all the elements of why this is important. It happens every day. <clears throat> and the fact of the matter is, is, no matter how much money or how many tools are deployed, there are still problems. The thing that's kind of interesting is that box on the, on the right-hand side. I don't know if anybody's ever seen it, but that's actually a cyber calculator. Right? One of the attack groups actually will post up a cyber calculator with a countdown clock. The countdown clock is going down and the dollar price is going up. Right? So it was really kind of interesting. So I wanted to throw it on a slide so people could you know, kind of get a sense for how bold these, these, these guys really are. It's a, huge money, it's a huge problem. It's a huge business problem. And we've been working on how we address it uh, for a number of years. But when we think about this in a broader sense, and we think about what's next-gen data protection, it is not traditional backup and recovery, period, right? And I come from that industry. In 1994, I had my first job in storage after doing systems integration work for 10 years with a company called Legato Systems, doing data backup, right? Trying to figure out challenges of how to back up 100, 100 ter I should say a terabyte of data over 200 Sun Systems within financial companies. It's not that. We, we, we've learned how to protect data as an industry pretty well over the last 40 or 50 years, okay? But now, when we think about all the advents of where we are today and trying to protect data, given the fact that things are so cyber-centric, is we have to think about recovery first. Business recovery, not data recovery, business recovery. And our methodologies that we've developed and our technologies that we've developed and applied to this over the last two and a half to three years fit perfectly into this environment. Protecting the data is easy, right? Somebody asked snapshots, right? We have a great snapshot technology, extremely efficient, non-disruptive, okay? You can snap data instantaneously across a single volume on an entire storage estate and not affect anything. That can be a read-writable snapshot. It can be an immutable snapshot. Immutability, when we talk about cyber, is key. And we are truly immutable. And everybody says they do immutable. We are truly immutable. What does truly immutable mean? It doesn't mean that you can call up support, get the lawyer on the phone, send me an affidavit, I'll sign it, and you can unlock or delete that snapshot. No, right? You wait till it's, it expires. Okay, we put safeguards in there, right? An immutable snapshot by default is only maintained for three days. Now they can extend it as much as they want. But again, the whole idea about immutability is you're not keeping it around for months or years. So it has to be immutability. Recovery first means being able to leverage that protected data. And in the case of cyber, you don't want data that's a weak old. Right? You want data that's hopefully minutes or hours old. Okay? And it's got to be proactively validated and verified. You can't wait till your pants are on fire to figure out how to put out the fire. <laughs> right? I mean, when you think about it, I was talking to um, um, some internal folks, um, one internal, one external analyst, and he says, So what's it look like when somebody has a cyber attack? I said, Well, a bunch of people get around a table and they say, what happened, right? What data was affected, you know? Do we have clean copies of the data and how fast can we get it back? And a lot of the answers to that are, I don't know, right? 
they have to figure it all out. So they go through an iterative process of figuring out what data has been effective. Do they have backup copies of the data? Then they have to validate the backup copies to make sure they're not restoring something that's infected or has been, been, or been compromised. So the fact of being pro proactive and validating and verifying the data is hugely important. This is beyond what we did for DR testing, right, in the past. No, yes, sir. I noticed that there's something missing in here, and I'm going to point it out. It's like, because I work with a lot of backup recovery systems that are involved with AI yep. and looking at anomalies in the data pat write patterns. Yes. So if you see a mass change in the data Correct. that would imp imp implement there's something yes. bad going on. Yep. So what is Infinit that, that trying to do? I'll, that I'll, I'll get to that. And that's what I'm going to talk about on Infinisafe Cyber Detection specifically, okay. Okay. which is our, our only one software add-on option. Yeah, because the other side of that, after the fact, right. after the exposure, IR, yep. in response, when it's right. clean room stuff. So I'm kind of setting the stage, and I'll, okay. I'll, I'll bring it into the main act here in just a sec. Thank you. So when we talk about um, easy to implement and maintain, it's got to be integrated, right? I've, taught, I've mentioned that Infuse OS is a tightly integrated software stack of all of our data services, including all of our InfiniSafe services. And it's got to be highly automated and orchestrated. So again, as you're doing snapshots, whether it be on a scheduled basis or on a, um, an ad hoc basis, or what I will call, when I talk about our InfiniSafe ACP, automated cyber protection, dynamic basis as to how data is protected, it's hugely important. And it's gotta be orchestrated from end to end. So when something is happening, that data is automatically going into some kind of a process to be validated. And when you, now you have that validated data, if you have an issue, you can now look at exactly what the state of all of that data is and whether or not you have compromised copies of it or good copies of it and when those last good copies were av are uh, available from. And again, you know, when we look at traditional methods, and again, we play and sell a lot of systems, both our InfiniBox and InfiniGuard and traditional backup systems. But for years now, they've been part of the attack, right? Because these guys want to maintain and gain leverage over their cut over the, their, the people they're attacking in order to be able to get that ransom. So, and when you're talking about the amounts of data, traditional backup methods aren't always the most um, efficient in getting that mass amount of data back. There was a customer I talked to in San Francisco a couple of weeks ago. They said, we love our backup system and things like that, but it doesn't give us the ability to recover our business the way that we need to. And they've gone, still do their traditional backups, but they completely rely on their business recovery around snapshots. And we expanded on that because he hadn't heard exact everything else that we're doing here. So InfiniSafe, answering the question that you had earlier, sir, about what's InfiniSafe and what does it do? And Finisafe is our technology stack that provides immutable snapshots, it provides logical and remote air gapping, it provides the ability to very orchestrate and dynamically spin up and spin down a fence forensic environment, it's testing it. And it provides the capability um, to instantly recover data once, you've had it, once you know it's validated. And our Finisafe um, automated cyber protection, which is also included, provides that highly capable integration and orchestration layer. Today, so many storage uh, cyber solutions are focused just on the storage silo itself. We decided that we needed to integrate further out into the security ecosystem and integrate and tr use um, as trigger points everything else that might be going on within that attack plane or being monitored within that attack plane. So being able to integrate into those SIM environments, into the SOAR environments, and being able to have them see what's going on and trigger events back to us instantaneously as soon as they see them are hugely important. It's not about the fact that you're just doing an immutable snapshot every so many hours and leaving gaps, okay? So when we think about what InfiniSafe does, we handle all the front end, easy stuff, snapshots, immutable snapshots, uh, logical remote air gapping, as I mentioned, and instant recovery. Infinisafe ACP, automated cyber protection, 
provides a container, some container-based code that allows us to very easily and simply integrate into the rest of the security infrastructure, whatever it is a company wants. We don't predefine what that is. Qradar, Splunk, et cetera. Other individual tools if they so wanted. And if they decide that they want to trigger snapshots on something, all they have to do is pass something as simple as a syslog event to us. And we can then determine what it is we want to snap. We can have a fixed set of things within a storage estate. We can make it dynamic, or we can make it everything all at one time, because it costs us nothing in order to do a, a snapshot of the data and have it hanging around for a few days in order for it to be validated. So you know if you had an attack, how did it proliferate? And if we can manage to get, you know, to cut off the amount of proliferation that might happen, that benefits a company, right? Minutes, right? Minutes can mean millions of dollars in this particular case. And then InfiniSafe cyber detection. Um, we didn't build this on our own. We went to and partnered with a company that some might know called Index Engines. I don't know if you've heard of them. They have an amazing technology that they've built over the years that provides content level scanning of data and does over 200 different pattern matching and technology analysis and algorithm matching and entropy scoring elements to determine different levels of change in the data. It's extremely robust, right? We, we adopt their SLAs. They, you know, the SLA is, they'll detect issues with data at up to 99.99% accuracy. Again, not talking about you know, all of a sudden just seeing a bunch of encryption happening with a bunch of files. It could happen in one critical database file, right? And it might be a part of the file. Partial encryption, right, is a huge relative real problem today. And being able to identify data within the file and not just based on high level entropy is extremely important. So when you think about, yes, sir. Sorry, so this is done in flight when the data it's, comes it's in? It's not in flight. Or when the data is written in the system? Right, it's based, on, we take, it's based on us analyzing a snapshot of the data. Okay, so first the data is written on the system. You make a snapshot and it's a snapshot that is being analyzed. Right. And so how much time is between... So let's say it differently, uh, what's your typical RTO and RPO? How many minutes or how many hours do you take snapshots? It depends, it, they, a customer can schedule, but that's again, where I mentioned ACP, right? Our automated cyber protection, Yeah. That's not, that extends it, right? We have APIs, we have a very open API driven system. So what we can do is with ACP, we only have a couple minutes left, so I'm gonna to try to go through this quickly. With ACP, we can get triggers from anything going on in any of their security environment and do a snapshot whenever they see something at that instance. And we have a protection, the protection at that moment in time. And then that will automate, if they haven't finished safe cyber detection, it's not a requirement, but strongly suggested, that will automatically be put into a queue to be scanned. So now, and what the result of that is a very clear green and red environment knowing exactly the state of every bit of data that's been scanned. Anything that's good is green. Anything that's compromised is red. They click on it, they know exactly the source where it came from, down to the file level, right? The system, the VM, the directory, the file, right? And very prescriptive because an, an accuracy is key because what you don't want when you're analyzing data is so many false positives that the data results become useless, right? So high levels of accuracy, when you talk about 99.99% accuracy, is hugely important so you're not, you know, saying, well, I just can't depend on the tool, right? So that's why we were very, very diligent about who we decided to partner with when we integrated uh, technology into our offerings around cyber protection and cyber detection in particular. Now, do you have an idea of uh, what is the lowest RTO and RPO that you might get? Well, if, a, if somebody implements ACP and say QRadar picks up something and they have it notify us, 
what it, what's the speed of compute between a syslog file being, you know, uh, some some kind of alert being sent to us and us instantaneously snapping it? Milliseconds, a second, maybe two, type of a thing. And again, it could be a particular volume, it could be a set of volumes, it could be an entire array, it could be an entire infinite out of state. Okay. It's an interesting set of concepts, but again, the whole idea here is that it, it manages recovery first, right? If I do all this and I've autom and I validated the data, when I need to recover it, I know I have the data I need to recover. I've got about a few seconds left. This is built into all our solutions, right? All our core and safe technologies is in all of our particular solutions. So you don't have, the only part you pay for is the InfiniSafe cyber detection, and that is based on the amount of data that you're going to scan. So with that,